Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna talk about how to make your own workout schedule. First thing you have to ask yourself is what your goals are. What do I wanna do? Set your goals and then set your consistency. You can't expect to gain weight if you're having less protein. Do you wanna lose weight? Do you wanna gain muscle? Do you wanna gain strength? Now, if you wanna gain muscle and you wanna gain strength, it could happen at the same time. Losing weight and gaining muscle can also happen at the same time, but it is a little bit more complex and requires help from your diet. If you wanna gain weight and if you wanna gain strength, you have to pick what sets and what reps you have to have in your workout routine. Second tip, assess your body. What do you think in your body is genetically gifted? Some of us have nice chest, some of us have naturally big arms and some of us have a wide back and so everyone is gifted differently you have to be judgmental about how many sets and reps you do because sometimes you might grow a body part faster than expected you want to ask yourself do i want to do a lot of sets of this and reps and waste time on this body part or you want to spend more time on working on your weaker body parts because that would be more beneficial now if you are a beginner it's just better to start off with doing all sorts of exercises than picking and choosing because you have to get better at all of them and then asking that question what is genetically gifted and how can i be productive in the gym by cutting sets of this body part and adding more sets to other weaker body parts that's what i'm trying to do right now i'm doing less legs because my legs are big and I'm doing more upper body because I feel like it will be more productive for me in a couple months or a few months or a year. Maybe you have chicken legs. And so you have to do more legs, like legs two times a week to get your desired body structure. Now we're gonna talk about the numbers for strength training and for weightlifting, there are different numbers. For strength training, generally the three by three by three system works. For weightlifting, about eight to 10 reps per set and 10 sets per week per body part. Now there's also progressive overload. You can also gain strength doing hypertrophy, no problem. But generally, if you wanna increase strength, you wanna use low reps so that you can get that weight up. Next thing we're gonna talk about is what exercises you should do. You should actually start with every barbell movement. So you should try to become better and non-barbell exercises. I could do no pull-ups in middle school and in high school. All throughout high school, I was the weakest kid in high school. I could do zero pull-ups, but now I can do at least 10 chin-ups and pull-ups. You have to follow the progressive overload principles when you wanna get better on those non-barbell exercises because for me, that was the hardest thing in the gym to getting off that weighted pull-up machine or weighted chin up machine or weighted dip machine it took me three years to get off those machines you should never use smith machines because i can probably deadlift fall 400 pounds on smith machines and i could probably squat like 300 pounds but it's it's not equal to the real heavy weight you're trying to control when you're doing free weights. I don't know why people use Smith machines. If you have an injury, okay, yeah, understandable. But even if you're so young, even if you start as a teenager, you should never use Smith machines. When I used to go to Planet Fitness, I used to do uh, Smith machine bench presses. And then when I started going to a better gym, I started doing bench presses and it was so hard. Using Smith machine is, is just not productive in the gym for many, for most of the people out there, okay? I also, don't prefer the leg press machines but people who do great i would rather lift heavy on my squats and deadlifts than do heavy leg press machines that's my personal take lastly using the weighted machines right the 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 ones with the the quads and stuff your extensions leg extensions and uh, hamstring curls and all of those machines uh shoulder press machines. Stay away from anything weighted, anything machine, unless you have an injury. When you're starting off in the gym, you're just trying to get the basics right. The basics are all upper body, overall full body movements that you wanna do, multi-joint exercises. Just because you are trying to learn everything and it's, it's better and invest your time to learn overall whole body, multi-joint movements 
than just single joint machine. Lastly, if you're looking to lose weight slash fat, you definitely have to do strength training. I can't stress this enough. When we look at the workout side of this, you have to do strength, some sort of strength training, some sort of progressive overload because we wanna keep that nervous system firing throughout your uh, fat loss journey. If you don't do strength training, you may lose a little bit of lean mass and you also are not going to stimulate your, since you're not stimulating your nervous system enough to fire your muscles, you will lose those connections and then you have to rebuild them and that's really, really frustrating if you're trying to see progress on your external characteristics, your external body parts, but then when you go into the gym and you feel weaker. So these are my tips on how to schedule your own workout and never, never, never invest in a workout plan. Please make your own schedule. If, if I could learn when I was like a teenager about all these exercises, then anyone could. And if, if you're older now, you're smarter. Go learn from YouTube. You will know your body better when you start doing, when you start getting up and going to the gym, you will know yourself better. And by through that experience, you have to develop, assess, uh, structure your workout to get your desired results. And thanks for watching. And remember that most people can solve their own problems and so can you.